Hey guys, what is up? Dave here coming back to you with a brand new video on the channel. And as you can see, we are doing a video today about Google Pixels, specifically anything from the three to the five. Now, today's video is all about how to put an Android uh, beta version from Google onto your phone, in this case, Android 12. Uh, the developer preview directly from Google onto your phone and then how to root it when you're done. So I have a Pixel 4a right here that my boss kind of graciously unknowingly let me borrow. Um, as you guys know, I work for an electronics repair shop that also does refurbishments of devices and wholesaling of devices. If you guys need a new phone, hit me up. We do shipping to Canada, Puerto Rico, all across the United States. And if we can swing it, we will do international shipping, but we've had some problems with that in the past. So let's get on with it. Uh, thanks to my boss for letting me borrow this device. He does know I borrow devices for videos, so don't go yelling at him and getting me in trouble. Um, it won't get me in trouble. He doesn't care. <laughs> so anyway, what you're gonna need is first you need to know what phone you actually have when it comes to your pixels. Now, obviously, I know which one I have. I have the Sunfish 4A, so I'll just download this zip file. I already did. And from there, you also need Magisk Manager uh, APK from the GitHub if you want to root. So that's the Magisk Manager. I already downloaded that. And from there, you also need ADB. So ADB install. I believe I made a video in the long past uh, a, the long past, a long time ago of how to actually install this and how I do it, but this works just as well. Just follow the instructions, you'll be fine. So with that, now we need to do the bootloader and everything uh, on the device. You have to unlock your bootloader to flash these uh, updates. So on the device, you need to go into your settings, settings, little gear right there and scroll all the way down to about phone then you just tap build number a bunch of times <clears throat> oh god you tap build number a bunch of times and then that actually unlocks developer mode go back to system hit the little down arrow go to developer options enable oem unlocking and usb debugging plug it into your computer and then give the uh, phone permission to connect in uh, debug mode and you'll see that it'll connect just fine if you have issues with your device connecting, you simply just need the drivers from Google, or you can do device manager. And if it doesn't show, if it shows up as like other devices or unknown devices, you can just also right click it, update driver, browse my computer, let me pick from a list, and then pick which one is correct. In this case, it picked it up automatically, so I'm not gonna screw with it. Now we need to reboot to bootloader. So you do ADB reboot bootloader. And it'll reboot here in a second. So TWRP does not actually exist yet for these devices from what I just discovered. So the rooting method is actually by patching the boot.img yourself. So we'll get into that in a little bit. But right now we need to unlock the bootloader. So as you can see, right now it is locked. That's what the little green locked word means. Very simple, you just do fast boot, flashing, unlock, critical, and then it'll bring up, oh, sorry, wrong device. Just flashing unlock. On the device, you'll see a little menu and you'll just press the volume down or volume up button and you wanna hit unlock the bootloader. This will reset your device back to factory. This device was already reset. It's brand new out of the box pretty much. Um, so like I said, if you wanna buy it after this video, let me know. I probably won't even still have it, but I'll have other ones. I have a, about 40 different Google Pixels, Jesus Christ. So now, as you can see, it's unlocked and we need to start setting up our environment for doing uh, the flashing of the ROM. So I'm gonna open up my spare here and I have a modding folder. There it is, phone ROMs, and we're gonna do Pixel 4a, Android 12, and you just drag this over into here, 
And then the only other thing, obviously, that I need is going to be Magisk. And I'm going to just grab this. This will just go here because it's universal. So once this is done extracting, which it will be done in a second, in a second, there we go. It's all done extracting. So as you can see in here, you have the bootloader file, you have your flash all, you have the image, and you have the radios and this flash all thing. In here you can see there's your boot image. You're going to want to pull this out of here if you're planning on rooting. So just put it here for now. And what you're going to want to do is simply click this flash all and that'll start flashing the device as long as you have ADB installed on your computer. So as you can see, it's a very simple script. It's safe to use. It's from Google. Don't get mad. Um, and it basically just runs through and flashes it. So I'm going to click this and I'm going to actually probably just sit here and chat for a minute while it does this because it's very fast uh, sometimes. So as you can see, it's going through, it restarts the bootloader a couple times, waits for the device to be recognized, and it just goes through and continues. So the reason you have to unlock your bootloader is as you can see here, there's a lot of archive does not contain this.sig. So what that basically means is there's a signature file for official firmware files that does not exist in these files because it's a beta version of Android. So, and then there's these other ones that also don't exist because they don't need to. So right now it's just flashing everything and we're going from there. Also, let me talk about something on the side note here. Uh, I recently had to set all my Snapchat stories to private or just friends because somebody added me on Snapchat that can see my stories and has been reporting every single story I make as spam or something like that and it gets my account locked for 24 hours so somebody ruined it for all of you but I'm gonna I plan on doing more of the short videos here on the channel to kind of make up for that and I'm gonna start using Instagram more heavily so I'm gonna be removing snapchat from my description uh, on all my videos and just uh, using Instagram and using uh, you know, YouTube shorts. So, whatever. <laughs> Somebody messed it up for everybody. Somebody messaged me on Discord. So when it comes to rooting this, it's going to be fairly simple. Basically, we just use Magisk Manager to patch the boot.img file and go from there. It's really easy. It's something anyone can do and honestly when it comes to rooting your device if you already have your bootloader unlocked there's no reason not to unlock or not to root the device in my opinion it gives a lot more freedom over the device it lets you uninstall apps you may not otherwise be able to uninstall it lets you install other apps like greenify or uh, some other root tools that will give you better battery life and it lets you have more control over like theming your device as well or even using other apps that are usually root only there's so many that are really good to have so obviously up to you if you root your own device I think it's worth it but again I'm a very heavy Android user and a very heavy Windows computer user so it's kinda just my thing to root every phone that I possibly can and go from there but as you can see, it's almost done. It's erasing user data because it does wipe the entire phone at the end of this. You can actually go in to this flash all script if you really want to. And you can actually remove this dash W and that will not wipe the phone when uh, you're running through this. But as you can see, everything is here. Android info is there. And we have our boot.img here. Once the phone turns back on, we need to put this on the internal storage of the phone. And then we'll use Magisk to patch it. So this is just the boot process. First boot might take a few minutes. That's just a normal thing on Android because it's got to dex everything and, you know, basically make sure it worked. 
but every boot up after this initial boot should just be a normal boot. Oh, it's already done. Cool. So as you can see, we're going to run through the setup real quick on this thing. And actually, it already showed up. That's interesting. So copy. Okay, it didn't show up yet in a way that I can use it. Start. Skip. And I'm actually even going to skip internet connection right now because it will run through the setup faster. <laughs> and it won't download unnecessary apps that I don't want. Accept. Skip, because I don't need a passcode. This phone's not going to be mine for long. I'm going to turn that off because I don't need it. And as you can see, we are now on Android 12. So if I go into About Phone, let me put it to dark mode. There we go. The dark theme is so much better for recording. As you can see, we are now, if I go all the way down to About Phone, you'll see Android version S. So we are officially on Android 12. I have a love-hate relationship with how Android 12 is set up so far, but I think ROM developers are going to have a lot of fun with this. There are some little glitches here and there, but as a like daily driver ROM, it would be possible to daily drive this, no problem. So you want to go in and enable USB debugging again because it disables itself every time you reset. And maybe turn off automatic updates if you're planning on rooting. If you're not planning on rooting, stop right here. You don't need the rest of the video if you're not planning on rooting. So what we're going to do now is I need to file transfer and we need to put this on the internal storage. From there, I can go back to phone ROMs and we can hit enter there. We can do ADB install magisk22. <coughs> And that will install it for us automatically. Open up Magisk. Go install. Select file to patch. And you want to uh, show hidden files. And then just go to 4A. Just in case. There we go. It's now selected to patch. It's going to patch it. Repacking the boot image, and then what you need to do is actually pull it off of the phone when it's done. And I'll show you where it saves it. Usually saves it to the download folder. <coughs> and as you can see, we have our Magisk patched. So you want to copy and paste that off. So we'll go 4A and 12. And I'm just going to name this rooted boot.img. From here, we can do ADB reboot bootloader. It'll reboot the phone to the bootloader again, so it'll be in fast boot mode. And it's very simple to flash this file. So you'll do fast boot, flash. Well, actually, you want to figure out which boot you're on. So you can do get var uh, current slot. Ah, uh, shoot. Fast boot get var. Crap, hold on. I need to remember how to do it. I, I never remember the proper command for this. I never do. Essential phone documentation to the rescue because it works for everything. Fast boot get var current slot. And as you can see, we are on slot A, so that's where we want to flash our boot image. So we do fast boot flash boot A hit enter it'll send it if it gives you an error there is a way around it you do fast boot flash raw boot A do not do it to boot B because if you want to flash um, updates beyond here so like with downloadable ones you can always change your slot and that way you'll be on an unrooted boot, it'll flash, and then you can retain root. Or just go download the boot.img from somewhere. It's not that hard. So now we're done. We do fast boot, reboot, and it'll reboot into the system. It's completely rooted on Android 12. 
You could lock the bootloader if you wanted to, but I don't recommend it because I've seen that actually cause boot loops. So basically at this point we're done and I get to set up the phone for whoever wants it. Uh, I'll basically probably just throw it on Swappa. I have so many phones on Swappa, it's ridiculous. I think there's two 4As right now. Let me see. Uh, Google Pixel 4A. Yeah, if I go to 4A, unlocked, mint, I have two of them for sale right now. <laughs> so, I got a ton of phones, but yeah, it's completely rooted, so you can go into Magisk, you can actually see that everything is there. And actually, it's not detecting the root. That's interesting. Oh, God damn it. I hate the gesture navigation on Android or on Pixels. Give me one second. I need to pause this so I can set this thing properly. I know it is rooted, so that's not a big deal. Um, pretty much everything's over at this point. So, uh, yeah, if I end up figuring something out, I'll unpause this. But this might be the end of the video. So I'll talk to you guys later, maybe. Told you I might be back. So there is an issue rooting Android 12 at the moment with Magisk if you're not using the quote unquote canary build. So at the moment, at least you know how to root it, but it's not actually possible to retain root once you do it. It keeps reverting itself back. So that's kind of a normal thing when it comes to beta. It's just that Magisk isn't ready for it yet. So, you know, hold your breath and you know, just stay happy. Although it's not possible to root yet. So <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.